mentioned earlier, first you have to master your relationship with God. For you, first you're praying, you're asking God to show you know have that relationship with God, where He will reveal to you who you are in His eyes, how much you know your worth. That you're not just going to settle for someone or the first person that comes to you. So you know that you are a son or daughter of God. So that you're gonna have standards. You're going to have. You know, uh, you will make a list to where it's going to hit your standards. So you start praying for that list. You start praying for that list. They commit it into your prayer in church, and God will bring someone to you. I mean, also, as you first build that relationship, you work on your mission that once you're ready and it's time for you, you know, that you're ready to be able to seek and have enough to support and have a, a spouse, you know, that you can... Actually, start opening up your eyes to that, and not, and in that process, to stay focused because lots of temptations will come left and can, right. Can I uh, add to that? Um, so there's a difference with uh, there's some basics that you need to find in a person. Is first they must definitely uh, have the same faith that they must have must believe in what you believe. That's the biggest thing that they have vision. Uh, but when it comes to preferences, those are preferences. So I don't know if you're talking about tall, short. Um, long hair, short hair, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's preferences. But when it comes to finding someone, the standards is definitely godly. They have a relationship with God because if they don't have that, they will never love you the way they could love you when they have God in the formula. So if, you ha- if they have godly relationship, and this is to all the men and to all the women, there's nothing more attractive than when a person, an individual is seeking after God. So with all of themselves, you know they will be a godly individual in that relationship. So God, a foremost mission, like she said, and preferences is preferences. I would add also, try to keep your expectation on the level of your preparation. The problem with many people is they have expectation on <laughs> Ezekiel, still listening? <laughs> expectation on 100, preparation on 20. Now, do the math. 100 minus 20, 80, 80 is that's how much frustration you're going to have in your life. So you either you bring your expectation to the level of your preparation or you raise your preparation to the level of your expectation. And a lot of people go into the relationship, they build this statue, you know, I want her to be, have anointing of Catherine Kuhlman, heart of Mother Teresa, the preaching voice of Joyce Meyer, cook like my mom, have as many kids as my grandma, and she needs to also look like the Hollywood star. And then you yourself can hold a hammer, completely overweight, completely in debt, cannot preach, do not have a prayer life, don't have anything running in your life except your mouth. How can you have a successful life? Of course not. That's good. That's enough.